Hello my lovelies, today I've got a candle video for you guys and you know I'm obsessed with scent. I've got over 600 perfumes and I do adore candles. So I have bought many over the years and especially the bougie ones, the really expensive ones. By the way, bougie means candle in French. So it feels strange saying bougie candle because it's like candle candle but anyway that's for just FYI if you want to know which expensive candles are overrated which ones are totally worth it I'm going to cover all the popular ones in this videos and some also that you might not know about but you should if you're a candle lover and you want to transform your space into a super cozy atmosphere this Christmas and winter season let's start with a very popular candle brand deep teak Diptyque used to be a um, graphic design house actually and they just transitioned into doing fragrance which is quite fun I thought but to me Diptyque is one of those brands that I love the design of the whole look of the candle that is one but I've owned a lot of them throughout the past I've got loads of candles here as well so I'm going to be taking you through the candle journey. The first one that I want to start with is Bay. Bay is the most popular candle from Diptyque and I have owned it in the past and I have been massively disappointed, okay? If you're thinking like, oh, I want to treat myself and I know everybody's talking about the Bay candle, probably because it was in the very popular TV show, but to me, that candle just smells not very expensive. It's not worth the money. I totally don't get the hype of it. Maybe because I have tried hundreds of different candles and this one to me is not worth the money. And I like spending money on good stuff, but also I don't like spending money on stuff that costs a lot, but doesn't have the quality in it. Bay for me, it's not a standout from the line. There's other candles that are so much better. They're amazing from Diptyque. One of them is roses. And one of the stories that I tell with roses candles to tell people like to go and get it is that I used to burn it all the time in when I used to work in Paris and we had like a studio there, an apartment and I only had to light it for like one hour and the whole apartment would smell of roses and it's such an intense scent for the whole day and then I would light it again in the morning but the scent itself is gorgeous it's super expensive smelling they often do like special editions of the packaging as well of the um, mold what do you call it of the candle holder so you can get really pretty ones as well and they've got an outdoor door version they've got big ones small ones like anything you can think of i'll link the boutique website down below because it's really amazing you can get their like their tiny ones like you can get samples of products so I always go directly to the website with Diptyque and shop from there because you can get the best deals and also like freebies. Who doesn't love freebies, right? So Roses is a really strong candle, really amazing, totally worth the money. So opt for that one. Another one that I only now use for my makeup brushes, but it is the Figuier candle. I love figs and I think with this candle, it is good but I would say that it's not strong enough for me personally. So I have owned it, enjoyed it, but I wouldn't repurchase it because although it's amazing, it's slightly, it's just not strong enough for me. So if you like really a light fig scent, then go for it. But if you want your candle to really like just fill your atmosphere with the scent, not the one to go for. But another one that is totally amazing is Feu de Bois. That one is my favorite. I have re-bought it loads of times. I actually need to make an order. I'm going to be making it definitely this Black Friday because Feu de Bois is an amazing candle. It is a woody fireplace sort of a scent. Not everybody will love it, but if you love woody scents, if you love your Santal 33 perfume from the Labo, if you love more of that like real woodsy scent, more of a unisex kind 
candle, like no florals at all. Also perfect for a gift, like if you're gifting like your partner a, f uh, a candle, if he loves some, then like my husband also absolutely loves that candle. He actually got a bit into candles because of me, because he saw that there's more than just vanilla candles out there, you know. There's also a candle called Amber, which is Amber. And that one, I would say again, a lovely scent, but it's not very strong. So if you do prefer lighter, not as strong candles, go for that one. It's an amazing scent. Again, smells expensive and will give you that indulgent feeling. And I totally like it this time of the year. But to me, it's more of a smaller space sort of a candle. So like bathroom or, you know, or if you like a lighter scent, then go for that one. But the scent is really, really comforting and just warm and ambery, like ambery vanilla, but just a very delicate one, not too sweet uh, at all. So it gives you a nice like lightness still in their room. Diptyque also comes out with special edition candles every single year for Christmas. And this year they have come out with Sapin, a neige and a tin cell, which is a spark. So that one is my favorite. I have tried them. The only one that I would actually buy is the etin scale. The other ones, I think I'm a bit biased because I always compare it to like my favorites from last year. And last year, oh, their candles, the Christmas candles were amazing. This year, only this one would be for me like enough to buy it but again it's not as strong as you might expect so i mean if you enjoy the packaging the more festive packaging i think it's fun uh to buy them or just get the little trio of the little mini candles i think that's also fun and a perfect present they're not bad but like i wouldn't personally feel comfortable recommending all of them to you like oh my gosh go and get them i would rather say go and get feu de bois or roses for example next brand that i adore for candles is byredo and this brand has got amazing strong candles as well because that's what you want for a candle if you're paying like 40 pounds plus for a candle then that's what you want and this one the standouts for me are bibliotheque this is like they've got the same perfume uh, and they've got a candle as well to me the candle smells very very similar it's even more deep it's like deep yellowed books it's a bit dusty gives you a really like evening cozy atmosphere it's very strong it's slightly sweet but not too sweet and again, it doesn't have too many florals. I think it's got rose in it, if I remember, remember correctly. But this one is a beautiful, really strong candle and it does smell like a library <laughs> to me, very, very much so. It's just that like leathery, like that as atmosphere of just like a manor and walking into a library with just like old books there. And there is a bit of dust there, but it all smells like so good you know what i mean that one is really amazing another one that i would recommend is the chai one that one also is spicy it's delicious it also has that woodsiness in there bit of the atmosphere when you light that candle really changes and that's what i look in a candle i want it to be strong high quality scent and really just give me that cozy feeling in the winter time. So I would recommend those two from by Redger specifically. If you want to treat yourself, even the tiny ones, they do have a very strong smell. So if you're thinking, oh, I can't buy myself like a big one, even get yourself like a little one because they are so, so strong. They're totally worth it. Or if you, I'm a bit crazy, but I sometimes travel with candles. So if you, because it makes me feel like I'm at home, you know, not in like a cold hotel room. So get yourself a small candle to travel with. Thank me later because it's a real game changer actually. But don't tell the hotel staff. So, and don't cause any like situations like fire hazards, okay? <laughs> because I'm not liable. Next brand that I want to talk about is another popular one and it is Le Labo candles. And I here have got this Santar 26 and I've got a love-hate relationship with Santal candles. I love the scent, but if you want the scent of the fragrance, this is not it. It's similar, especially when I smell it like this, 
it is really really similar but when you burn it it's it just does something weird in the air i can't put my finger on it but it smells a bit like food but not in the best way it just like in the air it doesn't smell like Santal 33 fragrance it just doesn't so I have had this for two or three years, maybe two. <laughs> I haven't burnt through it, which tells you a lot because I love candles and I burn through them really quickly. So this one just stands there pretty. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one. Another candle that I've tried from the Labo is the Fig one. So that one, <laughs> we're going from Diptyque, fig which is a very light fig but with the labo's fig oh my gosh that one is so strong it is too strong for me personally but if you are somebody who wants a really strong candle or if you want a candle to be lit in a massive room with really high ceilings that one is the one to go for because to me i had to like just not burn it for too long because it was nosy it was so cloying it was so strong so with that one i would say the scent is really nice but not for my small house small british houses like they can't take this if you live in a manor or in another country that has bigger rooms then go for that one not in the uk though the other fragrance uh, candles never really grabbed me so i haven't bought any more from them but let me know if you guys do recommend me another candle from the labo and i'll for sure test it and try it out so leave me your recommendations also for any other brands that you might know about and that i don't another brand that i want to talk about and actually this one also like you guys in the comments let me know if you enjoy this brand it's trudon i have never tried a candle from Trudon but I really want to so let me know your recommendations and I'm going to just pop it here just so you know how they look they're often used like you can see them in movies all the time in like really expensive houses there they are very expensive and I would love to try them because this is like a proper fragrance candle not like a so there's candles that are made to be smelt and they uh, the scent is created by a perfumer and there's like ready-made scents so trudon is more of a specifically like high level perfumery sort of like candle so i really want to smell them really really want to so let me know your accommodations of trudon candles because i'll put them here just because i have a feeling that they are really nice another fragrance Oh, this is actually a clothing company that does amazing candles is the white company the white company is quite big in the uk and you can get the winter candles they're called winter literally winter and they're amazing they're strong they burn really easily all of these burn really well just like go all down don't do any like weird things so you can't get or the candle burnt for your money so these burn really well actually surprisingly well i think they've got like soy or coconut wax in there because they're really nicely burnt and the scent itself it's full of like christmas spices it really smells super festive this is like the candle that you want to burn during like christmas day really 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 strong good candle for a bit less of a price point than some like diptyque and Barretto's another candle that is also woody and has got that feu de bois sort of a smell from diptyque is fireside from the white company that one is also super super good and smells like fireside it's a bit sweeter than feu de bois so if you like feu de bois and want to try something different try this one from the white company they've got really amazing candles like props to them because many clothing brands just have horrible candles another brand that is really cheap and you can get these candles and i think they smell really good for the price is you can get aldi candles and the pomegranate one in particular is really nice actually it doesn't smell overtly strong but it is present you can really smell this like uh, finesse and pomegranate in it and they're usually at least last year they were two pounds so they're really affordable and you can get a big one for two pounds as well so if you're looking to buy candles that are you know i sometimes want to buy a super expensive candle sometimes i want to buy a cheap candle so this is a one that i can recommend on a budget like they're really nice i think they've done a really good job with their candles 
Another brand that I want to cover is more of a niche fragrance brand, Candles. And usually I keep pretty safe with going for a fragrance brand that also does candles. For example, Gutal does an amazing Christmas candle every single year. And this year's, it is amazing. I have smelt it and I can't wait to get it because it's absolutely just gorgeous. Again, the scent is actually expensive smelling. It isn't that cheap candle smell and it also comes in a really nice packaging and everything so that one is a candle that i can definitely recommend for this year and also mfk candles they're absolutely amazing here i've got the oud satin mood one it's a mini one i burn it in my bathroom and sometimes in uh our, like upstairs area pretty much because it's so strong that you can light it upstairs and like in one room and everywhere will smell i literally light it for 30 minutes because like it's really small so it can totally get burnt like all the way across the radius of it <laughs> was a conference well i haven't done like this in years but anyways <laughs> this will smell really really strong even if you get the small one you're welcome to get the big one as well but those like they smell really good this one in particular Oudum roses smells like velvet super comforting for christmas and really really worth the money like i've gone through two and i want to get more also the baccarat rouge candle is also amazing from the brand super strong so if you want to get candles like that i mean look no further than mfk because those scents they will just fill your whole whole space and they're just amazing another fragrance brand that i want to mention is floral street because i got sent this candle to try it's grapefruit bloom scented candle and it's okay i would say it's not anything amazing it smells of grapefruit but it burns really nicely but to me it's just not when you know a good candle that really smells super expensive then any other candle is not as good and this one is okay but i wouldn't necessarily recommend these candles to you guys just from the experience I've had with this one. Another fragrance and candle brand that I've gone through so many candles at this point. I don't know how many. I've tried so many. At the moment, I'm, I have two. It's Nest, a very popular candle brand. This one I haven't lit yet. And it's Himalayan salt and rose water. It smells really nice. And this one is Seashell Salty Something Something. This one, I would say not my fave um it just you know when fresh candles sometimes they all smell the same i don't know if you know what i mean you probably if you're an avid candle lover you know what i mean but fresh candles can smell kind of all the same and kind of bathroomy just like a warm wax with some sort of an addition like they are not too good this one i have a feeling will smell exactly the same like there is something that happens with like lighter scents that is just doesn't go with candles for some reason but the one that is favorite for me from the brand and i would repurchase is charcoal woods that one is absolutely amazing really strong scent throw and is more of that woody base and it smells absolutely amazing my husband was commenting how amazing that candle uh, smells as well so he notices i know the candle is strong and really good from this brand i also like eucalyptus and mint or sweet pea it's a green one i'll link it down below that candle is also very nice and the diffuser is really really good as well strong and smells fresh but interesting that mint really pops and it's yeah it's just not a candle that you find everywhere so i like that another fragrance brand that does candles is creed creed does really amazing candles and they also do a special like a leather holder for the candles so I should have one soon so I'll pop maybe a b-roll of one so you can see how beautiful it is they just launched the uh, leather sort of case for their candles so as a brand overall I would say go for Creed and you won't regret it they have more of that traditional like English sort of a smell um, 
a green Irish tweed and all of those like really just mossy earthy green candles really classical and perfect for somebody who like I can imagine it in somebody's house who loves more of a traditional decor that's what I imagine for a Creed candle but really great quality as well the one from Creed I really like is the Birmani Oud they've got oud fragrances that are like a creed oud they're not like stinky oud they're just a very sophisticated oud scent and they're just absolutely stunning and another fragrance brand that also does candles and um, i love them so much is roja parfum because this one like you can tell with every single candle they're super super strong they've got amazing packaging first one that i've got not too much left of is paris smells nice clean musky floral just smells like paris smells like just you know the shades of paris it's a bit like warm and this candle has got a bit of amberiness in it it just smells like love and comfort it's an extremely strong candle beautiful packaging with like the eiffel tower in here and the cap like you just get everything like with the petite candles you don't get such a luxurious experience as with this like this when it comes it's like oh my gosh like if you buy somebody this as a present they'll be like is this even a candle this is a whole experience amazing candle another one that i've burnt through and it's my favorite from roja is the, the peony candle it's beautiful peony florals just pink florals it's super strong similar to the roses from diptyque it has that really luxurious just femininity to it it just fills the room i'm usually not a florals person like in, even in fragrance i'm not like a pretty floral person but for some reason this is just magic like it's my favorite it's so strong and it's totally worth it it's oh, gorgeous another one that i have here is jasmine from grass roja parfum candle this smells very realistic of jasmine super realistic if you're looking for a jasmine like a straight up jasmine fragrance and it's stunning then this will do that for you yeah it's just jasmine sometimes can smell a bit stinky or just artificial but this is very natural and super clean and kind of has a bit of white tea elements to the scent really just gorgeous really expensive smelling candle and another one that i adore this is my second favorite is from uh, roger parfum again is the christmas candle oh my gosh it's it's so different and it's so good i can't explain it. it's like eucalyptus there's like some mintiness in there there's charcoal like woodsiness it's really dark and dense and then it's got a bit of sweetness to it it just smells like christmas to me we kind of saved it from last year and we're like oh we have to burn it again for christmas this year it's got all the elements of christmas like it smells like christmas tree it smells of spiciness it smells of amber it's super intense and it's black uh wax as well i mean this candle literally will fill your whole house it's really really strong and totally worth it if you want something super unique for your house i mean this is like the holy grail of candles like we were saving it so we could have it for this year as well because it was so amazing let me know what is your favorite favorite candle down below so that i can check out more candles because i'm always on the lookout for new ones and i'll link all the ones that i've mentioned down below so you can check them out and discover some new ones for this perfect season for candles i'll see you very very soon bye for now